PeopleSoft Receivables adds two dashboards to the Credit to Cash Operations homepage to analyze aging and history activities. The Collector Dashboard allows individual collectors to view aging and history activity for the customers who are assigned to them. Use filters to narrow the view. All transactions are displayed in the currency defined for that business unit. Visualizations are displayed for aging balance summary, aging by customer, highest balance receivables by customer, and average days late by customer. In the Aging Detail and History Detail tables, use the Aging Detail link and the History Detail link to view details or modify information about the item. You can also export the data to a spreadsheet. The Collections Manager dashboard enables collections managers to view aging and history activity and to monitor collectors across receivables. Visualizations are displayed for aging by business unit, aging by customer, collector effectiveness, DSO by business unit, highest balance receivables by customer, and highest balance receivables by collector. This completes the Receivables Analytics feature description. There are three new tiles on the eProcurement homepage. Create Receipt, My Receipts, and My Returns. Let's look at the Create Receipt process. On the Create Receipt page, use the Requisition Lines to Receive tab to select one or more requisition lines. Then select the Receive Selected button to create a receipt. Use the Create Receipt page to perform various actions to the receipt, like adding comments and attachments, canceling receipt lines, rejecting quantities, and providing information for distributions, asset management, and inventory. The Receipt Confirmation page displays the receipt details upon receipt creation and provides navigations to Create New Receipt, Edit Receipt, and My Receipts pages. Use the My Receipts page to create returns, cancel receipts, and edit receipts. Use the Requisition Lines to Return tab to create returns for a selected line item. The Create Return page is used to perform various actions to a return, like overwriting a supplier's address, configuring return defaults, canceling return lines, and entering return fees, providing return quantities, selecting return actions, and entering a return reason. A message confirms when the return is created, and you can navigate directly to other actions. Use the My Returns page to view and edit return entries. This completes the Manage Receipts and Returns in Fluid demonstration. The Analysis Type field is added to the Pending Approvals Journal Entry and the Approval History Journal Entry pages. This column only appears when PeopleSoft Project Costing is being used. This completes the Analysis Type in Journal Approvals feature description. Expenses features include personal time hours on approval header and denied travel authorization lines. The Detail Hours section and Personal column are added to the Pending Approvals Time Report and the Pending Approvals Time Adjustment pages. The value in the Personal column originates from the option selected on the Time Entry page. The Pending Approvals Travel Authorization page displays Denied in the Amount column when a line is denied by an approver. In addition, when an expense type is prepaid, a notation displays below the expense type. This completes the feature descriptions for expenses. The Open Tasks by Date 
and open tasks by priority pivot grids now use a configured time frame that is determined on the My Preferences page. This allows you to determine your own time frame each time you access the grid. This completes the Specify Dates for Work Order Tasks feature description. PeopleSoft Receivables adds the Hold Statements page, enabling you to exclude invoices from the statement document based on correspondence customers associated with a contract. Use the Contracts Business Unit field to enter the business unit associated with the contract. Use the Contract Number field to specify the contract. When you select the Run button, any invoices associated with the correspondence customer of the contract are excluded from the statement document. This completes the Exclude Contracts for Statements feature description. When closing expense reports, use the Reversal Date section to determine a date to use when reversing accounting liability entries. In addition, select the checkboxes if you want to override the expense budget date, the expense accounting date, or both, with the date determined as the reversal date. This allows you to control the date if the budget period is closed. This completes the Modify Budget Date During Expense Report Close feature description. Project Costing features include Automate Project Lists and Update Project Template Status and Mass. My Projects provides a unique list of projects for each user. It's also used to filter and apply security to the project shown as an exception on the project's work center. PeopleSoft can auto-populate a unique list of projects for each user based on project team configuration, a projects tree, the grants portal security, and a new All Projects option for power users. The Project Update Wizard is available as a link on the Project's Work Center. Use this wizard to update large amounts of project information across the organization in one action. This saves time and reduces errors. PeopleSoft enhances the Project Update Wizard to include Project Template Status, which helps you maintain a current list of project templates. Select the Active or Inactive option as the new template status. Use search criteria to identify one or more projects to update. Select the desired projects and click Next. Review the new template status for each project and make changes if required. Select Submit to process your status updates. A confirmation page displays the projects processed and the status of the update. This completes the feature descriptions for project costing. This list displays additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 45. People Tools adds four animated icons that tailor the appearance of the digital assistant. Payables and Supplier Contract Management adds real-time indexing and RTI switches available for payables. The General Ledger Journal Entry Sheet page displays the journal source that is also on the header. Receivables allows you to post all business units during the update request process. Billing adds the UBL 3.1 electronic invoicing framework for outbound invoices as well as the ability to specify a from email address when sending invoices. Payables and Purchasing adds the People Tools feature that allows you to select multiple documents when adding attachments. Expenses enhances the CONUS data file to include the local incidental field. And in Project Costing, you can now configure Project and Activity User field labels. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.